Hello everyone, so this is probably the weirdest looking video that I will ever post on my channel. Um, basically what happened was um, when I sat down to film this video earlier on today, literally the second I sat down to film it, all sunlight left my room, all sunlight disappeared from the sky outside. The sky went a really weird grey orangey colour and it was all over Twitter, it was all over our TV news today. What happened was it was to do with the hurricane in Ireland bringing um, sands from the Iberian desert or something like that um, and it was affecting our cloud cover and our sky colour. It was so strange honestly for pretty much the second half of this afternoon the whole of London was almost like a sort of sepia tone. It was really really odd um, but by the time it had finally cleared the sun had gone down and it was too dark for me to film this video. So I had two options. I could film and upload this video tomorrow but I am really really busy with work at the moment and I already have to film my top five Wednesday video tomorrow so that that can go up on Wednesday um, and I don't think I would have had enough time to be able to film two videos tomorrow. Um, so I have gone with the second option which is to turn my bedroom light on and try to find a good spot in my bedroom that gives me enough lighting in order to be able to film a semi-decent video. And I'm still not entirely sure whether I will upload this video. I'm just going to film it, see what it looks like, and then if I'm happy with it, I will upload it. But there is a chance that I will delete this video and refilm it again tomorrow if I'm not overly happy with it. So if you haven't guessed from the title of this video, this is my top 10 films of all time. Um, I think I said in a video a month or so ago that I wanted to start incorporating some film and TV content into this channel and I'm still not entirely sure exactly how that's going to manifest long term, but I wanted to get the ball rolling with a few quick, easy, top 10 type videos just to give you guys a better idea of my film and TV tastes. So for this video, I put together my top 10 films of all time and it was quite difficult for me to do because obviously I love so many different films, but I chose to look at it as 10 films that I could quite happily watch over and over again and never ever get bored of. So that is definitely the case for all 10 of the films I'm going to talk about in this video. Before I get started, I just want to say that I am not a film buff or a film snob of any kind. So a lot of these films aren't exactly like highly acclaimed, clever, artsy films. And I'm sure that a lot of you will say more than once throughout this video, Alex, is that really one of your favourite films? But yes, I honestly genuinely love these films and as I said, I can watch them over and over again without getting bored. So without further ado and preamble, I'm going to get right on into it. So number 10 is Frozen. I love Frozen. It's one of my favourite Disney films. I have actually been quite impressed with a lot of the new Disney films, like I really love Moana as well, but at the moment Frozen is still one of my favourites. I love the songs, I love the characters, I love the story, I relate to Elsa on a very, very deep level, and I love how you get glimpses of the source material, of course the classic fairy tale of the Snow Queen, but it's updated and it is different. I love the message that it gives, but I love that you get those little glimpses into the classic story too. It's just so, so good, and if you somehow still haven't seen Frozen, I really recommend watching it. So yeah. Number nine is Little Miss Sunshine and I'm always really surprised by how few people seem to have seen this film. Essentially it's a family drama with a lot of comedy in it. It's about a little girl who enters a beauty pageant and it's just basically her journey to this beauty pageant with her crazy madcap family and it's really quirky, it's really funny. I'd really recommend it if you are looking for a really good quirky comedy. So yeah, definitely Little Miss Sunshine. Number eight is Coraline and as you can see I have Coraline in this little box set of three films along with Monster House and Nine. I do actually really enjoy Monster House and Nine but Coraline is definitely one of my favourite films of all time. It's just so dark and creepy and I just love the quirky animation style. Um, I much prefer it to the Neil Gaiman book that it is an adaptation of and that's really rare that I prefer the film to the book but I just love it. It's just so different and I would definitely recommend it if you are looking for a kooky, unique um, animation that is really, really dark and creepy. So yeah, definitely a Coraline. Number seven is 
The Breakfast Club and I think I've mentioned that I really really have a weird obsession with 80s high school films I just love them and with The Breakfast Club I love the soundtrack I love the fashion I love the relationships between the characters it's a very character driven film like not a lot happens plot wise but if you love character driven stories I'd really recommend The Breakfast Club it's just so so good so um yeah definitely recommend The Breakfast Club if you haven't seen it so yeah Number six is Donnie Darko. Um, this is a really strange, twisted, dark film and I've seen it so many times but I'm still not entirely sure that I completely understand exactly what happens in this film. Just every time I watch it I notice something else. I can't really say too much about it because if I, if I start talking about it I will definitely inevitably spoil something. I just really recommend it if you love your really strange mind fuck of a films so um yeah definitely Donnie Darko Jake Gyllenhaal is amazing in it so yeah definitely recommend it number five I couldn't find my dvd of it anywhere because I just looked all over the house and I just couldn't find it I know I've got it on dvd somewhere but it is school of rock and I think it's it's one of those feel-good family favourites and I actually think that maybe my brother took it to his girlfriend's house or something like that because it's one of those films that everyone in my family loves and it's just never not funny and I just really really love it. I've seen it actually the live show on Broadway in New York and here in London as well and it's just as good. It sticks very very closely to the film so yeah School of Rock is definitely one of my favourite films of all time. Number four is Back to the Future. Of course this is a cult 80s classic again and I just love it. I love the adventure, I love the comedy, it just makes me smile every time I watch it. So yeah, I mean what more can I say? Definitely love it. I really love the um, Back to the Future 2 and Back to the Future 3 as well but the original will definitely always be my favourite in that trilogy. So yeah, definitely Back to the Future. Number three in my top 10 films of all time is Mean Girls and I know this is one of those films where you'll be like really that's one of your favourite films? Yes it's one of my favourite films, it's never not funny, there are so many hilarious quotes that I just laugh at every single time. Obviously Lindsay Lohan is in her gorgeous prime in this film and it just makes me so happy, it's a real feel good teen high school film and they don't make them like Mean Girls anymore, they really really don't so yeah it's definitely one of my favourite films. Number two is Beauty and the Beast, the Disney animated version. It's my favourite Disney film, definitely. I love the whole message that um, love is more than what's on the surface. Of course, I love the library. Of course, I love Belle. I love all of the songs. I love all of the side characters. There's nothing about this film that I don't love with all of my heart. So of course, it is one of my 10 favourite films of all time. And the last film I'm going to talk about is my favourite film of all time. And again, you guys might be like, really, Alex, that's your favourite film of all time? But it is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Yes, it's my favourite film of all time. It's also my favourite book of all time. So obviously, I love it for the story. I love it for the characters that we're introduced to. Obviously, Remus Lupin, Sirius Black. But it's also the most visually stunning of the Harry Potter films, in my opinion. We've got Alfonso Cuaron in the director's seat. And I've realised that I really love his style of directing. He just makes films look beautiful and the scenery in Prisoner of Azkaban is just mind-blowing it's just it's like an advert for like come to Britain on holiday it's just so so gorgeous I really really love it so I think if you watch all of the Harry Potter films um, back to back which yes I have done several times you will definitely notice that Prisoner of Azkaban stands out as the most visually stunning as well as it being my favourite story with all of my favourite characters in it so yeah definitely Prisoner of Azkaban is my favourite film of all time and that is it for my top 10 films of all time what are some of your favourite films please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am so, so tired. So I am going to end this video right now and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.